Let's take a look at our saturation tool now. Notice when we click on the saturation tool, if you look at the top of the screen, these are all the adjustments that we can make to that tool. So the diameter of my pixel brush right now is 37 pixels, which is fine. I can increase it if I want or decrease the size, whatever I feel like. The hardness is the actual edge of the brush. So if I want a soft airbrush type of feel, I would go closer to zero. And if I wanted a nice hard edge, I would go closer to 100%. So I'm actually, I actually do want a softer uh, tip. So I'm going to go to say 10% here. And the range will make your adjustments to the low saturation, mid saturation, high saturation. Basically, our highlights, midtones, and shadows. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust my midtones. And what I want to do is actually paint in some saturation just on his tongue here. I want his tongue a little bit more red. So if I take a look at the channels, my active channels across the top here, if I start painting now, I'm actually going to be painting colors on all the channels but what I want to do is just make adjustments to my red so if I uncheck the rest of these boxes now I won't make an I won't affect anything else except the red so now I can come over here and start painting in on the tongue and watch that saturation start to build there you go that's a just a very simple way of how the saturation slider can work so if I go ahead and choose my blue for instance now what I can do is just add a little blue a little more range to my nose here nice some nice color there so that's how the saturation tool works so let's take a look at the desaturation tool so it works the same exact way in fact now I just saturated this blue a minute ago I think it's a little too strong so we could go ahead and desaturate it out, make it not quite so bright and uh, crazy colored. All right, that looks pretty good. Now let's take a look at the eraser tool. Well, that's going to do exactly what we think. So what I do want to do, though, is go to my red channel so we can select it. Here's my film view like I like to work uh, into. And if I wanted to, I could actually erase the, the red information that we have in his eyes. It's just it actually shows a little de definition, so I would probably leave it if I wanted to uh, actually print this. But uh, for the sake of showing you how this tool works, we can clean up these kind of things. Come over here and take a look at the um, proof positive view. So we just clean that up, took the red out of his eyes, and cleaned up his mouth a little bit with that eraser tool. And basically, that's a quick run through of all of our tools and how they function in Separation Studio. Be sure to watch the other videos in this how-to series.